Hey, what's up everybody? Jamie Fenn here, back yet with another video. Today, you're gonna to learn how to do this brand new X-ray glitch effect and transition in DaVinci Resolve. Here are some examples of what you will learn how to do today. Would you be the one to fight or the one to hide? You can never touch the sky, don't try to fly. Rose, but we stayed up. Do it all and we still unbreakable. Alrighty, so I'm going to start off with the most basic version of this effect, and as we go through the tutorial, I'll show you more advanced techniques. So here we have a clip, and I wanna bring in this effect right when they tap gloves. So I'm gonna just go right to the point where they tap their gloves. I'm going to come up here to the effects library. Then I'm gonna come down to where it says effects and select an adjustment clip. Let's go ahead and drag that adjustment clip down here to the playhead. I'm going to trim this just so it's smaller. Then I'm gonna come back up here to the left-hand side and select Open Effects. Come to the search bar and type in Invert. Select Invert Color. Drag that on top of the adjustment clip. And then what I'm gonna do is just fade the adjustment clip. When they tap gloves, it's at the maximum look of the effect. So here's the example. One more time. All right. Next, we're gonna to start to get a little glitchy. So let's go ahead and delete this adjustment clip. So here I have the clip of them tapping gloves and then it goes straight into them fighting. But I wanna create some type of glitch effect in between the two clips. So what I'm actually gonna do is duplicate this clip by holding down option on my keyboard and dragging that up and dragging this clip just so it goes a little bit over the first clip. Then I'm gonna trim this clip like that. And then I'm going to select this clip, come back up to the effects library, drag invert color on top of it but then I'm going to actually do something that's a little unconventional because I was actually just messing around with different types of effects in here, but I'm going to select video collage. Drag that on top of the clip that's above this other clip. Now you see we have the default setting for the video collage. Let's go ahead and turn off the effects library. So with that clip selected, let's come up here to the inspector and select effects. Click on video collage, and I'm going to turn the rounding down all the way. And I'm also going to do some keyframing. So just for this clip right here, you can see it plays with the clip in the background that's about to play next. So what I wanna do is come to the start of the clip with the effects on it. And I'm going to keyframe the stagger horizontally and the stagger vertically. So now we've selected keyframes over here, selecting those diamond icons. Let's go ahead and just turn this down all the way like that. Now we can really go crazy with it to make it really glitchy. We can just start messing around with points, going a few frames in, dragging these around, going frame by frame, just going back and forth with these staggers, kind of just playing with whatever we want. I'm going literally frame by frame, adjusting these to just kind of go crazy. So as you go frame by frame, you can adjust those stagger. You can adjust any of these. You could keyframe the right margins, the bottom margins, but now with just going frame by frame, now you can see we created some type of glitch effect, which is pretty neat just using the video collage feature. Pretty simple, but pretty self-explanatory. And what's really nice about this invert feature is you can actually come in here and turn off the invert red or the invert green, get a specific look that you want. You can mix and match whatever you like depending on your footage and your style. This would make a great music video effect, but I'm just gonna leave these all default for now because that's kind of like a more realistic X-ray effect. So let's now move on to the part where the guy is literally kind of X-rayed and there's a glitch effect when he gets punched. Okay, so we're gonna actually do this effect in the color tab and the edit tab. Okay, so in order to get the invert effect just specifically on him when he gets punched, what I'm gonna do is select that clip and come over here to the color tab. So what you wanna do is get your color grade for the clip and then create a new node by hitting Option or Alt on your keyboard and pressing S. I'm gonna to come to the point right where he gets punched and just select a part of him. Maybe select some of this. And then I'm going to track forward just a few frames. So it's only a quick couple frames, but it does a pretty good job. I could fine tune this mask a little bit, but for this tutorial purpose, I'm just gonna leave it very simple. So I'm gonna then turn off the overlay to get rid of the red overlay. Come up to the open effects and select, you guessed it, invert color. Drag that on top of that node. Now we can add some glitch effects to it, which is actually really fun. So I'm going to just go ahead and duplicate this clip. There's different ways you can go about this, but this is just one way. 
So I'm going to get to the point right where he gets punched and trim that clip to that marker right there. I'm going to come up to the effects library and select effects. And under effects, you will see digital glitch. Drag that on top of the trimmed clip that we just created. Let's go ahead and close the effects library and come back up here to the effects on the right hand side. And you will see digital glitch and there's some options here you can select. The default settings are great. But there are some really cool things you can do in here, like change the glitch chroma scale up or down. And when you crank that up or down, you get some really strong artifacts and it starts to really separate the RGB values, which is really fun. And now you have an effect that looks like this. Now, obviously the glitch kind of sticks around way too long and it's also a little small. So what I'm gonna do is actually drag that to be really short, maybe even add a tail of fade. Come back up here to the inspector with that clip selected and turn up the glitch height all the way to make that glitch super big. Pretty sweet, you could add some awesome sound effects. I do have a sound effects pack down below check it out. But this is the effect so far. Now let's move on to the main portion of this tutorial, like the example that I showed you in the intro. Let's go ahead and duplicate the second clip. That's what we want to transition into and trim it so it overlaps the first clip and then continue to have it overlap on the second clip as well. I'm going to delete the rest of that. And then I'm also going to just drag the bottom clip over so it matches the length of this one and I'm going to trim it so these are now matched up like that. Let's go ahead and select both of them, right click on them, create a new fusion clip. So let's go into fusion. Okay, so now this is where things get really fun, a little bit more technical, but totally worth it. I'm going to add an invert node to the median two, which is the clip in the foreground, which is meaning on top of this clip. And then I'm going to also select the polygon node and add that to our invert color. I'm going to zoom out, make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to make two points. I'm going to make whatever design I want, but just big enough to basically cover the entire clip when we drag it across and keyframe it. Now I'm at the beginning of this transition with the playhead. So make sure you're there when you start to do the keyframing. So with the polygon node selected, you've completed a window. I'm going to highlight all of the points like that. I'm going to click my playhead and go all the way to the end. I'm going to then drag it across like that. So now we have an animation that looks like this. So now we have something that's quick. It goes over the clip like that. But in order for the other clip to show through, what I'm going to do is actually connect this polygon node to the median two. Now you will see that this clip here like that will actually fade the x-ray transition of the other clip underneath it. So you can see there's the other guy. That's the fighting sequence. And you can add another polygon node here. So with that one selected, let's just go ahead and click the polygon node. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing, but maybe on this side, do something. I don't know. We'll see. We're just making some random design. I'm at the beginning of the clip, highlighting all of them coming to the end and dragging it all the way across like so. So now we have something that's quick. So let's go ahead and come back to our edit tab. And what's great about this is now that you have a clip here that has both clips inside, you can just drag this up and you can actually kind of fade this in if you like, do something like that. We can come back up here to the effects library and add that digital glitch on top of our fusion clip. And that's how you make the x-ray glitch effect and transition. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Oh yeah, and uh, of course, check out this playlist. I make a bunch of different videos on all different types of effects. So enjoy. See you guys in my next video.